Hey, what's up everybody? Donnell here and um, yeah, today I'm bringing you some news from Computex uh, which is taking place in Taipei, Taiwan uh, at this very moment. And um, yeah, I got an email from MSI and uh, yeah, they wanted me to check out some of their brand new stuff. So in today's video, uh, as MSI is a long partner of mine, uh, I'm gonna check out what uh, interesting they have brought to Computex. And uh, yeah, they have revealed some really incredible stuff, which I can't wait to get my heart on. So yeah, I mean, um, let's start off with the motherboards first and then let's talk about their new laptops and also their new desktop PC. Anyway, yeah, first of all, of course, uh, the X299 systems uh, that are being revealed right now and the brand new CPUs from Intel uh, with with the flagship being uh, what was it? It was the uh, Core i9 7980XE, which is a 18 core and 36 thread CPU, uh, and they revealed the pricing just moments ago, and it's gonna cost two thousand two thousand dollars or euros in Europe. So it's not the cheapest, but it is. 18 core and 36 thread CPU uh, from Intel uh, for the uh, X299 motherboard. So uh, that should be pretty freaking awesome CPU if you're a, a streamer or a YouTube editor uh, or doing uh, stuff like that. Uh, it's not particularly the best CPU for gaming as you won't benefit that much uh, in terms of like a regular uh, 4 core 8 thread uh, uh, Core i7. But yeah, for streamers, uh, definitely for streamers, uh, getting those extra cores in there is um, an absolute game changer. So if you're a streamer and you have extra money, definitely uh, get this CPU. Although AMD Threadripper might be a better choice uh, just because it might be, I don't really know yet, but it might be twice as cheap. But yeah, anyway, Intel is back. I don't know about the pricings. It's like mm, a little bit too much uh, if you ask me. But yeah, that's, those are the uh, first official prices. Maybe they'll get a little bit cheaper if uh, AMD comes up with a lot better price range. But yeah, anyway, MSI did reveal brand new motherboards also for the X299 system, which is uh, uh, the brand new X99 or the upgrade to the X99 system, which I have behind me right there. I have the X99 godlike gaming carbon. And uh, yeah, they revealed uh, a couple of uh, new motherboards and um, yeah, I have the web page here in front of me. Crazy about RGB, get insane performance too. That's, that's what I like. Uh, so we can see the, uh, S, uh, uh, the SLI Plus uh, MSI motherboard here, the Tomahawk, the Gaming, uh, the Carbon Pro and the Gaming M7. So these are the motherboards that were uh, revealed right now and I mean, I don't have um, a lot higher quality pictures uh, from some of the motherboards right now, but I'm gonna show you them right here. So first of all, the gaming M7, magnificent, magnificent design. I mean, looks absolutely stunning, has some really cool uh, new features like the M.2 shield, which kinda sucked on the, um, on the regular 1151 M7 which came out a few months ago and um, yeah it didn't give any performance and it actually made the temperatures uh, go worse uh, but here they have a new cooler on the M.2s but it's kind of worrying at the moment because uh, the design looks absolutely incredible I mean it's like a it's like a d double edged blade or something like that like like a Wolverine has or, or from from Halo or something like that. that. That's what it reminds me. But it, it has really nice design elements to it. Uh, but I'm really, really, uh, really cautious and uh, really worrying right now. Uh, how well is it uh, going to actually cool uh, the M.2s? Because the M.2 drives get uh, really hot. I mean, uh, 50 to 70 degrees is no problem. And uh, putting them 
uh, under one heat sink that actually has to cool another M.2 drive if you have one and the chipset well that will be some interesting uh, testing the, uh, done there when I actually get my hands on it to see if it really helps and <laughs> if the chipset even lives uh, through uh, if I use two M.2s and uh, do some uh, writing on those discs. So yeah, I mean the design itself is really amazing here. It has uh, the MSI Mystic Light, of course, and uh, nothing bad to say there. And has a lot of good features. Uh, what exactly? I guess I'm gonna talk about that in the actual review. But the first look here, absolutely stunning, but kind of questionable uh, M.2 uh, cooling here without any fans. But I don't want any fans. Don't ever make fans on a motherboard. Jesus. Uh, anyway, next up, gaming uh, or the yeah the gaming pro. Uh, which was the X299 Gaming Pro Carbon AC and also the Gaming Pro Carbon. Um, yeah, I mean, looks okay, I guess. Uh, the main features here uh, are the uh, 3D printable uh, covers for the motherboard uh, heat sinks. So, but they are saying that you can use a 3D printer and print anything that you want. Uh, on top of these heat sinks. Uh, how it exactly works, how much can we uh, modify here, is still, uh, still remains a question to me, but I'm definitely gonna find out. Uh, and my friend has a re proper 3D printer, so I could actually maybe test this out also in the future. But I mean, the design, yeah, compared to the uh, M7, to the uh, Gaming M7 ACK, I mean, yeah, no contest. I mean, the the gaming seven wins it. I mean, it looks kind of cheap. It looks, it doesn't look really good uh, for me. But I do. Lo I I just this is just so perfect here. The gaming game seven, so, and this just looks like uh, kind of. I don't know. It's it's not for my taste. Maybe it's uh, for your taste. And it has uh, separate uh, heat sinks or those heat shields uh, for the M.2s, which didn't work at all. I don't know why they're keeping it. Maybe it's better some way. I don't know. I need to test this out when I get the motherboard. But yeah, this is, this is the, the design. Not not fancying it too much. But uh, other than that, it should perform uh, really well and is of course really well built. Just the design. I'm not fancying it. Uh, next up is the Tomahawk. The X299 Tomahawk. And this is this is a fantastic upgrade for Domahawk. I don't know if they're still using a bloody awful plastic here uh, that they did uh, use on the um, previous uh, the Z270 or no, it was the H270 Domahawk, right? Uh, that I reviewed uh, a while ago and uh, I didn't like the plastic bits here. It was just kind of why. Uh, although when you look at it uh, from far away, uh, a friend of yours comes over and sees your PC through the window and he's like, oh wow, that looks so amazing. But if he gets up close and personal, he's gonna be like, oh wait a second, it's plastic. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it doesn't really matter, I guess, uh, if it's plastic or not. It just can't... It, it, you can't uh, tell it's plastic. Uh, from uh, from a distance. If you can't tell it's plastic from a distance, then it's okay. If you can tell it's a plastic from a distance, then it's uh, not good. But anyway, that's the only negative thing that I found on the previous model. I don't know what exactly uh, this thing here is made of or how it actually looks in real life, uh, but I'm skeptical about that. But the design, the other design, the heat sink here is absolutely stunning. It's even better than... It's even better than this, I guess. Because uh, it's just, uh, it, I don't know if these are the RGB strips here yet, but it looks so magnificent. Something similar that I wanted to do on my wall mounted uh, chassis. And uh, yeah, I mean, I really like the design on the do new Domahawk. The new Domahawk looks absolutely stunning. Uh, has a lot of good features, again, as always, uh, for all MSI motherboards. And uh, yeah, hoping to get my hands on it really, really soon. So those are the X299 motherboards from MSI. And uh, yeah, nothing really bad to say about those things. Uh, 
other than uh, maybe not liking the uh, the gaming uh, pro uh, that much as the other do. But yeah, uh, coming to some other things. So MSI did uh, reveal some laptops also, and uh, also a desktop PC which looks absolutely insane. And uh, we're gonna take a closer uh, peek at them right now. So first of all, I have the GE63 here, um, which is odd because it's in a GS63 folder. So I might be a little bit wrong here. It might be actually the GS63, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's in the folder of GS63, but it's named GE63. So this might be a GE63. Got it? Anyway, uh, this is how it looks. I mean, nothing bad to say here. Looks absolutely stunning. I really like the uh, metallic uh, magnesium uh, finish here, uh, the brushed aluminium look, uh, which I'm uh, actually trying to do on my wall mounted chassis. And uh, yeah, I mean, the corners, the angles, everything looks so super slick and smooth. Now, uh, the thing is that the GS63, which I guess I don't have the pictures, or I guess this might be it actually, uh, but uh, these are the only pictures that I have right now. Uh, the GS63 should be the world's thinnest uh, uh, GTX 1070 laptop at the moment with a 120 hertz uh, 3 millisecond response time screen on it. Uh, but yeah, even the GE63, uh, which uh, supposedly gets its design elements from sports cars and stuff like that, has a GTX 1070 in it, uh, uh, abs looks absolutely stunning. I mean, there's nothing bad to say here. I love the RGB SteelSeries uh, keyboard here. And yeah, perfect, perfect design. Uh, has two mouse buttons, not one uh, uni button, which is totally stupid on laptops. Uh, but yeah, everything seems really perfect, so I can't wait to get my hands on it. Uh, really, I really need to uh, get myself also a, a proper MSI laptop. I still have a Lenovo laptop for some reason. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, this is the GE or the GS63. But let's move on. Uh, I do have uh, some more pictures for you guys, and this year is the GS. 73. So the GS73 should be really similar to the GS63 uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm seeing it is really thin here. It ha has a GTX 1070 in it. So, I mean, looks absolutely stunning. I love the uh, backside even here. Uh, we can see some boards here, some boards here. And uh, I mean, yeah, the design looks uh, great, but God damn it! Why the uni? <laughs> Why the uni mouse button? It's so awful, I think. Okay, so that's uh, that's that's our uh, first thing that I don't uh, actually like about this laptop. Uh, but I have to see how it works and well, how much do we actually use the mouse pad anyway? Uh, but yeah, I I definitely have uh, two separate buttons here. But this is how it looks. Looks absolutely stunning. Nothing bad to say. And yeah, of course, can't wait to get my hands on it to unbox it and uh, review it. But now uh, let's uh, let's move on actually uh, to the GT75 VR, which is a uh, which is a laptop that has a GTX 1080 or GTX 1070 or GTX 1070 in SLI with a proper 120 hertz uh, screen, a proper i7 processor, and it looks it looks like this. Absolutely stunning, uh, absolutely magnificent. Uh, I can't understand, it's a quite a little bit low quality picture here that I have, but these look like metallic keycaps here, which is kind of, kind of interesting, but oh my god, look at the design angles. It is uh, a lot beefier than the uh, GS version, uh, and has a pretty interesting design for the armrest where you uh, rest your arms uh, on the laptop. It's uh, a little bit uh, higher, so that might be a, also a good way to actually maybe get some uh, heat away from your bones, because uh, things tend to get hot uh, underneath your uh, bones. But uh, most of the parts should be under the keyboard, I'm presuming here. But it might be actually be a, a softer material maybe, so 
I don't know, should be pretty interesting. But yeah, the GT75 VR looks absolutely stunning. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Uh, this here, as we can see, is a rendered picture here. Uh, so I guess there's not a lot of them uh, actually built at the moment, but they are coming. And uh, yeah, first impressions, really, really nice. Uh, definitely love the design here. Really interesting arm, uh, arm pad here, armrest. Uh, I love the mouse, of course, and um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing bad to say here. Looks pretty good. Anyway, um, let's move on to the to the biggest uh, <laughs> biggest case, uh, biggest thing that MSI brought, and it is the MSI Infinite. So Infinite is the brand new MSI desktop PC, and it looks absolutely stunning uh, with its MSI Mystic Light. Uh, uh, nice texture here and uh, as we can see on the window uh, it does have the video card uh, brought out from the motherboard uh, via the uh, PCI -X Express extender cables and uh, it looks so stunning. I, I need to get this like for my uh, benchmarking PC so yeah I mean there's nothing really bad to say here other than maybe uh, Maybe we could have an option to actually put the video card inside it and uh, the other option to be uh, to bring the uh, video card in front of the case uh, like this because uh, it's actually uh, hiding a lot of the motherboard. Uh, that's what I kind of don't like about the, uh, the cases, the chassis as that bring the video card out somewhere. Uh, it typically uh, brings uh, far far away from the motherboard and uh, hides the entire motherboard, so it doesn't maybe look that good. Uh, but the design, other design elements here are absolutely stunning. I really like the uh, design angles everywhere, and it also has some cooling chamber chambers in it. I'm pretty sure, so it should be a pretty cool case overall. And yeah, MSI Infinite. Uh, really impresses me uh, a lot here and can't wait to test it out and see how much does it cost and so, stuff like that so yeah anyway uh, that's it uh, from MSI right now at Computex 2017 that's, that's the info that I have right now if I have any more news I guess I'm gonna bring them to you somehow and if I get my hands on these products of course I'm gonna bring you uh, guys some videos from them but yeah Thanks for watching my video here. I'll be seeing you soon, guys. Gonna travel to E3 2017 in Los Angeles in about a week. So, uh, even actually less than a week, I'm gonna travel to America. So, that should be pretty fun. I'm gonna try to make uh, a couple of videos for you guys. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching my video again here. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for subscribing. Or if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to my channel. Leave a like on this video and I'll be seeing you soon, guys. So, yeah. If you have any... Uh, questions or if you want something from E3 uh, 2017 then leave a comment down below and if you have any questions about these MSI products leave a question down below but yeah anyway thanks for watching see you soon ciao